In this second task, you've got to create a Gantt chart. A Gantt chart gives you a timeline, which is an overview of the whole project and your kind of project management of all of the different tasks that you've created in your production schedule. So let's look at two examples here, which are in the exemplar. Remember to find that in Google Classroom. I've uploaded it and you can look at either pages 7 or 25 to see what it looks like or the examples that I've got below. One which is a bit more of a kind of pass example which has got lots of uh, tasks which are in sequence as you can see they're being completed over a period of time over a week by week basis as per your production schedule. The second example is probably more realistic you would do your tasks at the same time as um, each other and not necessarily in sequence like this first one has done. So you put in either your tasks one by one and in relation to the weeks in which they're going to be completed and you do that uh, by listing very quickly what they are and when they're going to be complete if you put in the dates as shown here. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to create it in Google Sheets.